If you guys don't know, there's a bunch of free golden guns just lying around Vondel. Now, they don't spawn all the time. About, I would say like 50% of the time they, they spawn. But this knowledge is so good to know because there's a lot of locations that you don't even need a key for to get these weapons. And they all have five attachments. Most of the time, they're pretty meta out. Uh, they're great guns. So if, if I were you, I would at least learn the ones that don't need a key. And of course, I, I tell you which ones don't. But yeah, it's all chaptered out. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, yeah, let's get going. While we're loading in here, I'm just going to say that if you do end up enjoying this video, maybe sometime during it, you could subscribe to the channel. It is free for you guys, but it does mean the world to me. Also, all this footage was captured on twitch.tv slash geeksay, where I do stream four days a week where you can come by, say hello, ask me any questions, and I'll answer everything. And if I don't know it, guess what? We'll find out together. So thank you guys again. And uh, yeah, let's go. Location number one is the university. This is at E3. And thankfully, it's unlocked. You don't need a key for it. And you get a juicy TAC 56. Get yourself to the roof of the university and you're going to see this window area right here. And what I want you to do is just break the glass and get into the university itself. You could go through the front door, but this is way cooler looking like Batman. And now what I want you to do is look at these shelves right here, these bookshelves. And as you can see, there's actually nothing there. I, I, I'm not lying to you. I just got kind of confused even myself. And it's a little tricky sometimes to see these golden weapons, right? I, I, I was looking for other bookshelves. Maybe I was wrong because this is where they told me to look. And, or I was just thinking, hey, it just didn't spawn this raid. Okay, on to the next one. But actually it did spawn. So we actually go back there and we look again just to double check because, you know, I have old man eyes. I just wanted to double check to make sure I wasn't crazy and it wasn't there, right? So I'm looking through the front. Okay, it's not there. Now we're looking at the back. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so it is there. It does spawn. Uh, on this bookshelf right here just at the back it'll always spawn in this one location and let me tell you this tac 56 is meta built it's pretty it's pretty close to meta this gun is unreal and the fact that this uh university is always unlocked and always has a chance to have this gun in it you would be not stupid but a punk ass stoolie if you didn't at least try every time you went to vondel and just look for this gun Next, we're going to be looking for the Saken. This is going to be found at the cruise terminal at the south of the map. It, this is on F8, and you do need a key to get in here. So before you even attempt it, make sure you have uh, the key at least on you. And because it is a locked area, you've got so many AI you have to battle through, right? So you're going to have your riot shielders. You're going to have to. You're going to have your tier two, tier three bots. And I would say one of the worst uh, things about this area is that there's no, at least as far as I know, there's no second floor entrance to get into. So when you unlock that bottom floor door, reinforcements can just come from outside also. So you're you're getting constant barrage of uh, AI coming at you. So it's a it's a really tough area. That's what I will say. Just be prepared for a good fight before you get to this gun. Now, on the south side of the of this building, sorry, there's these long corridors that go through the whole building. And what I want you to do is go all the way down and you're going to see this little animal poster thing here. This is where the Saken lies. And is it is is it a good gun? Yeah, of course. It's a it's a great Saken. You know, it's got five attachments. It's good. Is it worth all of this to get this gun? Ah, I don't I don't think so because of how many uh, I would say how many other guns are out there that are gold and easier to get. But if you're a huge LMG fan, of course, go and grab it. And if you're just, you know, you have the key and you just want to use it, give her, you know. The next gun has us going to the Spoopy Spoopy Castle on D3. This is in the northwest corner. And also, just to let you know, it is unlocked, which is awesome because it gets you a gun that I don't think a lot of people have in their inventory. Now the castle is very hit or miss when it comes to AI. Sometimes there's a lot of them in the castle. Sometimes it's like there's a ton of them surrounding it. It's just, like I said, pretty hit or miss. But all you have to do is make sure you go to the third floor or the top floor, I should say. I don't know how many floors there are, but the top floor of the castle. And you're going to see this little area here. And right through this uh, doorway that we're about to go is like this main bedroom, right? 
And as you can see, there's a bookshelf. Next to the bookshelf is a chair. And on that chair is the FJX Imperium. Now, what's so good about this gun uh, being here actually is that the only real way for you to get this gun was the battle pass, right? So now if you don't have it through the battle pass and you never got it through, you know, killing a player or something, you can now just grab it, uh, you know, extract with it. And guess what? You, you have it unlocked, which is awesome because it is a good sniper. I, I highly suggest you check this gun out every time you're in this map. Oh, look at me. I'm a, I'm such a pleb. But uh, whenever you do jump in here again, it's an unlocked area. You're never upset about getting another sniper rifle. I think it's always good to have one, especially on this map. So if you're near the castle, there's there's a couple of spawns near there. You might as well just quickly go and check. And like like you're seeing right now as me, I, me on the floor, there are a couple of orange crates near it. So, you know, worst comes to worst. If it's not here, you still have a chance to get a bunch of orange crates. Let's now travel to the police station, which is just center right of the map. It's in F5. And thankfully this is area is unlocked also. And it's really good because it has one of the best shotguns you'll find for free. It's also one of the most straightforward guns to get golden guns, I would say. So all you do is you enter the police station, go up these stairs and you want to make your way to the jail cells. Now you want to go to the second cell and right next to the bed, is the broadside there and that that's it that's as easy as it gets right and the best thing is you now have a kv broadside that's with five attachments and it will destroy everything it's got the 25 round drum mag you're ready to smash you know this is definitely one of the gun builds that i would say is if you're around this building you 100 should just go and check there's no harm in it and if it is there you get a really great gun the next area we're going to is not a point of interest at all. So you have to go to F5 and you have to go specifically right here in the water. Now it is an unlocked location, but you will need a rebreather to go here. Trust me, you cannot make this swim without a rebreather. So we're going to just dive in the water here. You're going to see this open canal and you're going to want to go straight down, take a left and then go straight down, take a right where it's right here. Take that right. Okay, we're gonna rebreather first quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm dying. I need to get a little oxygen. So we're gonna go down here. You're gonna take a quick right and then a left. And that's pretty much it. You're gonna take another right and then just go straight down here. And you're gonna come up to a ladder and you're gonna get into an area that has a ton of loot. All you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you go up these ladders. And in here is not only the M13B, but you're going to have a lot of orange crates at your disposal. So the M13B is near this uh, folding table. Again, another meta build. All five attachments are on it. I, I, I don't know what it is. Lately, I've been loving the M13B. I know it's not, you know, meta, but it's just a really great gun. So whenever I have a chance now, uh, I, I find a rebreather on Vondel. I'm always hitting this area because worst comes to worst the gun's not here guess what you have a bunch of chests to still open up you know so you find a rebreather think of it as like a free key to get a meta gun on vondel and the last thing i need to tell you guys is you can just get out by using this door here you can't get in from the outside obviously but to leave you can the next gun is a doozy to get and i'll i'll explain that in a second so we're going to go to the market at the center of the map it's at f5 and yes, it is a locked area, but it's only locked in the sense of it being a stronghold. So if you have a stronghold key card in your inventory, bring it in, or I'm sure you'll just be able to stumble upon one, you know, while you're playing the, the map. Now, the reason why I did say it is a doozy is because, again, it's a stronghold, but just like the cruise terminal, it is on the first floor. So you have to unlock this uh, building from the first floor, which means reinforcements are going to keep coming in from the outside and you're at the center of the map there. It just doesn't. It feels like it doesn't stop coming like the, the AI does not stop coming on you. After you feel relatively safe, this is where you're going to now look for the signal 50. It's right next to the pool table where the cues hang up. So on the wall is where you hang up the cues. It's just in there. There it is. And you know what? I'm going to be honest out of the three guns that are the three snipers, sorry, that I'm going to show you today that are golden that you can find. 
this is my favorite now yes it's the hardest to get out of the three sniper rifles for sure uh but all you need is a stronghold key card but more than that you need a lot of self revives if you're solo because you are going to get shot down by this ai I, I honestly you're probably going to have to fight 30 to 40 ai just trying to clear this uh stronghold up i'm not even uh joking you right now it gets really crazy but the signal 50 is definitely worth it and like usual if you don't find the signal 50 there are some orange crates around here we're going to take you to central station now on the east side of the map it's on h4 uh you don't need a key to get in here and yeah you're going to get evictus all you have to do is go to the up uh upper part of the whole central station and then you're going to have these catwalks and from here you're going to see this little newspaper stand or whatever uh just jump on top of it and and there's the victus another amazing sniper another area that you don't need a key for memorize these you guys memorize these it's very important you can never say you have too many snipers you know what i mean it's always good to carry a sniper but no one wants to use a sniper as their insured weapon. well i shouldn't say no one i do sometimes not often though next up we're going to the fire department for one of the most op guns in the game currently uh this is at c5 you do need a key for it but if you do have the fire department key you should be using it go to the second floor uh there's a bunch of chests of course because it is a locked area so there's gonna be a bunch of orange crates and whatnot but on the pool table on the second floor you're going to be finding an iso hemlock that's right currently if we're talking current meta right now the iso hemlock is still the king it's it's still really oh, i i hate riot shielders more than anything i'm going to be honest with you guys riot shielders are the worst but anyways so on this pool table is the iso hemlock of course it's all golden it is definitely got all the the top mods on it you can use it just as is because it is a meta build like you don't really need to change anything about this gun it shoots straight as an arrow and yeah it's just you need to make sure you have that fire department key if you do have it don't let it just sit in your inventory doing nothing try to do some runs and grab a couple of these for your uh contraband stash eh the last gun is definitely a good goof here it's nothing fancy but we are going to go to h6 for it we're going to the exhibit and you don't need a key for this one so don't worry about that and then once you get in here you're going to be looking for this painting on the wall uh i try to grab it and guess what there's there's glass i'm a dumb dumb i'm not gonna lie to you i am a dumb dumb so just break the glass and then you get the uh basilisk now you might be saying to yourself geeks why do i want a basilisk it's, it's it's a crappy handgun and it's gold and all but it's still crappy and yeah you might be right but it's still fun <laughs> like i think that's the biggest thing guys it's just fun to have some gold guns and goof around so if you're around this location and you just want to show off to your buddies hey this is a really good way to do that those are all of the guns we know about so far i might have missed one or two there are new ones getting discovered so if i missed them hey put in the comments down below we're a community about sharing knowledge and helping one each other or helping one another out so it'd be really fitting if you you know you posted it down below if you don't want to and you want to be like Gollum and you just want to keep it to yourself hey I get it Mr Gremlin man but uh I think we should all share knowledge it's, that's what this community is about so thank you guys so much just for watching this video if you did enjoy the video hey subscribe to the channel it is free for you guys it does mean the world to me remember all this footage was captured live on twitch.tv slash geek say I stream there four days a week and I would love to have you there so until next time or twitch stream I'll talk to you guys later